On November 4th, it was the Cardtopia event in New York City, and I got to go and there were some new releases of playing cards. So today I'm going to show you guys all the new cards that I got at Cardtopia. And if you want to watch the vlog I made of Cardtopia, check the link in the description. But anyway, let's get into the cards and see what we got. Alright, so I have some that I didn't even open yet, but let's start off with the ones I already have opened. Now this is not a new deck, I don't think, not an exclusive Cardtopia release, but it is a new one that I got there. This is the Bicycle Prototype deck. It looks pretty cool. There's a nice hole in the box there so you can see the back design. And these cards are really shiny. They look holographic, but it's like this shiny rainbow pattern that's on there with some foil. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks really nice. I like the face cards of these as well. We got pink for the hearts and the diamonds. And then the face cards are very shiny too. I always enjoy an extra shine there. We got a shiny joker. Of course, being from Bicycle, these cards feel good. I really enjoy how these ones look. Next one we got is the new Orbit deck. This is not a new design, but it's a new colorway. So Orbit collaborated with Tally Ho. They made the Orbit O's is what I think they like to call them. And they made this deck in a red and blue colorway. Was that last year? I think that was last year already. But we got a new one. This is the black colorway and I quite enjoy this. A nice custom Cartopia seal as well. And that is the back design. The faces are standard with some customization on some of the courts. I think they're like personal people, but it's a nice deck. These ones feel really good. So there you have it. Those are the Tally O's. This is the new black edition. Next one we got is a release, I believe, from 2020. This is the United deck. Now these ones seem to be pretty rare, so I picked myself up a couple of these. And oh my goodness, the box on this is absolutely stunning. So much goldish bronze and blue foil in there. These are by Cardamundi. I think this is when Cardamundi and Bicycle became one, you know? The inside looks super cool, it's like a map. And then the cards are a little bit thinner than usual, but they still feel really, really good. That is the back design. And again, pretty thin. I also like these faces here because the uh, hearts and the diamonds have that nice bronze gold shining throughout each card. So that just looks super sick. They handle well and uh, yeah, they're very luxurious looking deck. Those are the United. We also got the official Cardtopia 2023 New York deck. This is a pretty cool looking one. There's a lot of foil there and then all the sides. And then the back, you see the back design. A nice gradient in the box. And then the back design there, which I kind of like. It's some broken borders with the, the lettering on the back. And then the faces are pretty fun as well. Obviously customized, and so are the face cards, the court cards. Very Cardtopia theme, and I quite enjoy these. In terms of the feeling, again, you guys are just, you, you know they feel good. These are all by Bicycle, so you know they feel good. But yeah, I was very happy to see that they had an exclusive deck, and uh, happy to get it. New York Cartopia. And then one of my all-time favorites that they came out with was the exclusive Bee and Cherry Casino deck. They merged the two together, and I couldn't be happier. I mean, just look at that. That looks so, so cool, so weird, so fun. I don't know, I just love it. It would've been cool if they had one with borders, but, you know, maybe next time. There you go, Bicycle, write that down. They also came with a blue edition, and I got that too. I just haven't opened it yet. Blue will probably look really good with those cherries. Look at that, Ace. These just feel good. They look good. I'm very happy with getting these. I should have got another, to be honest. I love the B decks, and then I love Cherry Casino, so putting them together is just really awesome. Standard faces, as you know. Let me know what you guys think of this collaboration. The next one we got is one we haven't opened yet. This is the Chris Ramsey's first and bicycle collab. Kind of like what Orbit did. He already made these last year in a blue and a red colorway, but this is the black. So let's open these. Obviously, they're just gonna be the exact same, just a black bag design instead but black bicycles, as we know, go very hard. So look at that, that looks great. I believe this comes a cutaway or in Pneumonica, something like that. I can't read Pneumonica. I can read, just not Pneumonica. There we have it. We have the bicycle first black edition, which look pretty sleek. The black and the gold looks nice. And gotta always appreciate that gold foil. See, I was gonna make a video on this sololy, Sololi? Is that a word? I was gonna make a video on just this deck because I do that every year with the new first cards, but since it was just a different colorway, I figured we just might as well add it into a longer video. But overall, it's a great deck, comes with extra four spades, a blank card for us magicians there, and you gotta appreciate that inside and the outside of the box. Looks too good. And last but not least, we have the Rick Smith Jr. Throwing Edition playing cards. Fun story about Rick, so I actually met him at Cartopia, I wanted to make some content with him, got to know him a little bit, made a video which I have uploaded on my YouTube shorts and my Instagram, so if you wanna check that out, just 
click the link down below. Super great guy, and these cards look really nice, and I've been dying to open them. We got the custom seal that the Orbits one have as well, so let's pop these open. I mean, first thing when you see those shiny Joker pips, just looks great. All right, these are awesome. So we have the Jokers here. We have that ace, look at that ace. We have the face cards, the court cards that are standard, but they have that shiny blue. And then the hearts and the diamonds have that nice shine, similar to the United playing cards, which I really, really like. Oh my goodness, look at that, that looks so good. Comes with a blank card and a double backer, and there's the back design. I mean, just look at that. This is gonna be a fun one to make a video with. Wow, I'm very happy with how these turned out. Definitely should have picked up another, but I'm glad I got them. And those are the Rick Smith Jr. playing cards. All right, guys, those are the decks that I got from Cardtopia. Again, if you wanna check out the vlog I made, it's pretty short, but it's a lot of fun. And the event was great, so go check out that vlog down below in the description. If you wanna check out Cardtopia's Instagram to get updated when they do their next event, check them out, again, down in the description. Let me know down below which one of these decks was your favorite. I still can't decide, but let me know yours. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button for my weekly videos. Put on the notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.